there is some uh, urgency in the matter. Yes. Ooh. My wife thinks I'm going to be arrested. She's much smarter than I am, so she may be right. <laughs> arrested for what? Well, for murder. <laughs> it's the case of Miss Emily French. You've probably seen the report in the press. She was a maiden lady living alone, but for an elderly housekeeper in a house at Hampstead. On the night of October the 14th, her housekeeper returned at 11 o'clock to find that apparently the place had been broken into and her mistress had been coshed on the back of the head and killed. Uh, uh, that's right. Yes, quite an ordinary sort of thing to happen nowadays. Anyway, the next day I read in the papers that the police were anxious to interview me. So I went down to the police station and they asked me a lot of questions. Did they caution you? No, I don't think so. I'm not quite sure. I mean, they said, would I like to make a statement and they'd write it down and it may be used in court. Is that cautioning me? Well, it's too late now. Well, anyway, it sounded damn silly to me. I told them all I could and they were very nice about it. Then when I got home and told Christine about it, my wife, that is, well, she got a bit of the wind up. She, she seemed to think that they had gotten a hold of the idea that I might have done it. So anyway, I thought it might be a good idea if I got a solicitor, so I came along to you. I thought you might be able to tell me what I ought to do about it. Hmm. Well, did you know Miss French well? Yes, very well, actually. She was frightfully kind to me. In fact, it was a bit of a bore sometimes. She positively fussed <coughs> over me, but well, she meant it very well, and when I found out she was killed, I was very upset, because, well, you see, I'd gotten quite fond of her. Well, uh, tell Sir Wilfrey, just as you told me, how it was you came to make Miss French's acquaintance. It was one day in Oxford Street. I saw an old lady walking across the road carrying a lot of parcels, and in the middle of the street she drops them, bends over to pick them up, and she looks up and sees a car that's almost on top of her. She barely got to the curb on time. Anyway, after the car had passed, I went, out into, uh, I went out into the road and I picked up all the parcels, wiped the mud off of some of them, tied up one that had burst open with the string, and generally soothed the old dear down, you know, the sort of thing. And she was grateful. Yes, she was very grateful. Thanked me a lot and all that. One would think I'd saved her life instead of the parcels. But there was actually no question of the fact that you had saved her life. No, nothing heroic. I didn't think I'd ever see her again. Cigarette? 